Hi, I'm Doug Binks, and this is the Avoid Editor prototype. So when you start Avoid, this is pretty much what you should see, uh, except for I've resized to 1080p in this case. Now I'm going to just change some options to make it easier to show this in the stream. I'm going to go to the menu transparency, and I'm going to set that to one so that it's not transparent at all, making it a little darker and easy to see. First thing I'm going to do is, do is go to the set tool and I'm going to set an amount of 255 for maximum and I've currently got an iron material and I can make single blocks like this. If I use the right click on the mouse I can move with W, A, S and D, space for up, control for down, I can use Q and E to rotate. I'm also going to put VSync on, as the noise from there is my graphics card. I can create larger things. So here I can create something, say, 8 by 8 And the collision is on, so that I can basically ensure that I can get something to rest on the surface of something, like so. Now you'll note that what I've been creating here um, has a pattern on it. What I can do is I can change that pattern or make it less um, apparent. That's the voxel color variation. And I can set it to zero so that now it's just a, a smooth and we can pattern with our own colors. And I'll put block edges on so that we can see the size of shapes. But you can have block edges off if you want for taking shots of what you're making. So we can make very large objects if we want. Well, um, I mean to make the distance bigger and I need to fly away. I used shift there, it makes me move fast whilst I'm using W, A, S and D. Okay, so we are making squares and then I can also make spheres, cubes, sorry. They're only somewhat sphere-like due to the type of voxels that uh, we're using. Now, if I want to paint on this, to make the colors different. I probably want to use a smaller tool um, and I need to change, create a palette. So I'm going to add steel first of all to my first. This is a little micro palette we have. I'm going to show the materials. Here we have the material tool and I'm going to go to wet clay. Make this material tool a bit bigger. And here's some options. So I'm going to add a red and a green to my palette. And now using the paint tool I can, and I'm going to go to continuous mode, where I can just draw by clicking with the mouse and holding down. Turn my material to off for a moment. And we can paint with a sphere a bit bigger, so you make that four. And you can see over here, Paint sphere for R. Uh, we're not seeing it because we need to pull the, sp the, the spheres out slightly. So I'm going to use offset of a half. You can see now that my cursor is floating slightly, and that gives me the uh, um, the sphere is actually making something. Otherwise, it's just the edge of the sphere. I can you can see that if I set here, I'm going to set, and you see that's uh, a continuous mode on, so it's building content towards me. Here I'm setting something, and you can see it's a sort of embedded slight sphere. Or make it a cube, it might be a bit more obvious. There's an a cube that's coming half out. Here's a cube that's fully out. There's a cube that's fully in. So now we can use copy and paste as well. So if I go to copy and I set my size to be quite big, uh, let's have 16 by 16 actually. It's big enough for the moment. And I'm going to set my offset to a half. So whatever I pointed out, there's a bit of space around it. And I'm going to copy that. And then I'm going to paste it. So you can see I'm getting this uh, object that I've selected, pasted wherever I want. And if I wanted to get, say, copy a bit bigger, can do that too. Copy uh, all of that. 
Now I can uh, paste. Oh, I forgot. That was it was on paste. I'm just going to copy, copy all that. Now I can paste this where I want, and I can paste in continuous mode, which can be quite funny, um, particularly with collide on. And there I get uh, just lots of weird things going on. The environment is very big, so we can have this uh, as far as we want. At the moment, I've got collide set on, so I can't actually go into materials, which means you can sometimes get stuck. So to get away from that, I can have options. And we go to collide with geometry, turn that off. I should make that the default, actually. OK, so we have pick allows me to take a look at um, something and then select that and I get told what material it is and what the amount of material there is in that block. If I select here, they tell me that they say there's 95 material in this block here or um, between 23 in that part. So we can see and we can see what the actual object is. Paste and copy we've done. Set will actually um, Set will actually set that value. Uh, I'm turning continuous off. Continuous means that if you hold the mouse down, it does an action for every frame. So here, if I click on set, and it'll just make this cube. And if I click on add, it will grow the cube. This is um, with collide on, it'll grow it, grow it forwards towards me. So what I actually want to do in this case is rather than grow it forwards towards me, I want to have my S offset to be full. What will happen there is I select this. As you can see, I've added material to it and it's, it's grown. I can do it again here and you'll see more clearly. Perhaps if I click, it fills it out. So it's adding material to it. I can also remove some material. I'll remove a smaller amount there. For remove, I put the offset to none because remove always pushes back. And I can remove there and thin this out. There. That can be used to make uh, interesting shapes. Remove can also be used in continuous mode, which can be quite interesting if we get a little bit of a distance away. And I make this, uh, instead of 2x2, two two, I'll make it 4x4. Four and there you can see that I can basically sculpt edges by uh, holding my mouse down and then just slowly eroding them away. So in this case, the amount that you use is a per frame amount that gets, well, it's per second amount, sorry, that gets removed. 20 says 20 per second. You can actually make that 255 is the maximum amount in any given voxel, but you can make this bigger, which means now you've got a super powerful tool because that's the amount per second that's removed. So this will now fire a hole through the world very quickly. So now it's a mega destruction mode. But of course it creates these uh, shapes that are very squared off. But if we choose to have a sphere, maybe make that sphere a bit bigger, the edges of the sphere not going to be completely cubic. So there it's uh, just basically really eroding away. And then there's uh, delete. We'll just delete. So it's continuous off. We'll basically delete whatever is in the cube. So rather than remove, which removes a certain amount of material, delete will remove completely the material. So um, are we, we're on a sphere. I've just made a, a holy sphere in the middle. I'll make a, a cube there. So it just takes that cube out. We can use um, Control Z, which will undo the actions that we've done, and Control Y to bring them back. And that goes for about 100 operations. If you're in continuous mode, Control Z and Control Y do work, but you have to do them lots of times to get an effect. Okay, so that's it for now.